As we near the end of 2012, I had a chance to sit down with Canada's Prime Minister Stephen Harper this week for an exclusive interview. In a wide-ranging conversation, the Prime Minister reflected on the challenges of the year ahead when it comes to everything from the economy to hockey. Here's Jacques Bourbeau with a preview. Where are the jobs? As the United States inches closer to the fiscal cliff, the rest of the world is getting increasingly nervous. In an exclusive interview with Global News, Prime Minister Stephen Harper is confident a solution will be found, but he's looking beyond the precipice. I think their bigger challenge is going to be after January. The, the U.S. fiscal situation, if you look at it, is a runaway train. And, uh, you know, they're running deficits of a trillion dollars plus, and that cannot continue. On this side of the border, the Prime Minister is also concerned about debt, but not only his governments. His worry is those Canadians relying too much on credit. We are approaching a limit here. Watch your debt levels. Debt levels are getting high in the country. Be cautious. Interest rate shocks are possible. Uh, so watch that. When it comes to Canada's economy, the Prime Minister says we'll soon have something new to worry about. Concerns about unemployment will fade, Harper predicts. Instead, it will be employers who can't find anyone to fill their jobs. We have serious labour shortages in many regions of our economy. We should not have an, an unemployment problem in the, in the decades to come. We're going to have a labour shortage problem. Harper says Ottawa, the provinces and educational institutions have to train more Canadians for the jobs of the future. Skilled trades plus scientists and engineers. In the short term, he's allowing in temporary foreign workers, but the Prime Minister says that is not his preferred solution. I see that as a, quite frankly, a, a kind of a band-aid solution. What we really need are Canadians trained for the jobs. One of Harper's toughest decisions this year was giving the green light to China's Sinook to take over the Nexen oil company. The Prime Minister says the deal raised no red flags when it comes to national security. But in the U.S., many politicians do have concerns, and Harper says there's a reason for that. The United States uses national security extremely broadly. In my judgment, they would probably dispute this. In my judgment, I think it at times becomes a front for protectionism. With Christmas approaching, one thing spoiling all the good cheer is the hockey lockout. And for this fan, it's a big disappointment. I just think this is a terrible tragedy. You know, I do fear that as this is going forward, it is, it is doing real serious damage to the game at the top level. And there's nothing, even as Prime Minister, that he can do about that problem. Jopper Beau, Global News, Ottawa. And you can see the full interview with the Prime Minister in a Global News special this Sunday. It airs at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, and again during your local news hour on Christmas Day. As of Sunday, you can also watch it online at globalnews.ca.